Hey, I'm in Pittsburgh at the Carnegie Science Center, and we're about to go inside, but we're not just going to go inside. Like any science center, this one has, as part of its key mission, outreach to educators. And tonight, they are having an educator night. They're going to walk the educators through the place. I am going to shadow one, specifically through the Fab Lab, as they learn what the Carnegie Science Center can do, and hopefully increase my knowledge about it. <laughs> Hi, John. Hi, I'm John Doctor. Here I'm the Mobile Fab Lab Education Coordinator uh, with the Carnegie Science Center. So what you see behind you is our mobile makerspace. This is actually our mobile Fab Lab. Um, we take the mobile Fab Lab all over western Pennsylvania, Ohio, and West Virginia. We can actually take the lab to schools, to maker fairs, things like that. Uh, we can work inside the trailer itself with all the different CNC and design equipment that we have. Or we can actually offload the equipment and take it into your facility or take it into schools and set up shop inside of you there. What you see on the table in front of you um, are just some of the project examples of things that students have come up with. It's, uh, this was one of our most recent projects. We like to tie in uh, the lessons that we do uh, into curriculum. So whenever a school would book us, we try to find out what the students are, we try to find out what the students are studying in the yeah. weeks leading up to while I'm there in the weeks afterwards and they threw biology at me. So we put our brains together in the lab and I'm like biology and making and what we actually came up with were students um, could design their own cells. So we gave them the different parts of the cell and the 2D design software and they were actually able to take all the pieces, put them together and they Oh, really made cool. little stands and used the laser cutter to acrylic it out. So we did find a tie-in for biology and they were able to get some <laughs> making with that as well. As a teacher, can I come with my own idea or am I kind of constrained to what the Fab Lab has to offer? So one of the first things I ask a teacher or an administration if they call is if they have an idea for a project that they would like to do. One of the very first projects was actually given to me by a teacher. They wanted to design a little free library. Okay. Um, so they approached me with the idea for that project. We brought the mobile unit to their school um, and we worked with the students in SketchUp and did the 3D designs and we cut that material out for them. How long did that take from start to finish? I was there Monday to Friday. Okay. So um, less than 40 hours <laughs> in total. Uh, we let the students select what they thought was the best design and then we brought the files out to the trailer and we cut the pieces took them in if it didn't work right which is something that we focus a lot on if it if uh, i like to make sure that students feel safe to fail inside yeah. of this space so a lot of the pieces i would bring in the first time didn't quite fit together correctly the first time so we were able to go back do the redesigns bring it back out to the trailer but wrap around to what you asked the yeah. teachers approach me all the yeah. time with can you do this and we try our best to tie it in if they have a project idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, what you asked before was one of the coolest things that I've, um, experiences that I've had working in, in this sort of mobile maker space this past 16 months is a lot of times kids and students and teachers are the ones that come up with projects that I never thought of in the yeah. first place. I actually had a fourth grade teacher here in Pittsburgh's north side. We went up and, and had the laser cutters in their classrooms and we were running projects with the fourth graders. And he, on his own, like we showed him how to use the design software. We showed him how to use the laser cutter. He ended up being a participant in that helping us do it. We were there for multiple days. Oh, wow. At the end, he actually created his own design uh, on his own. Like I wasn't observing him do this. My biggest philosophy is get out of their way. Yeah. Like if they start doing something, as long as they're not catching the lab on fire, like I get, <laughs> I get out of their way yeah. and I let them do it. And he took a piece of foam core, um, which is a, a, a material that we can use inside of here. He did a design. You, he asked me if he could use the laser cutter and he cut the shape out, the negative space fell out and he actually used that foam core and he was doing spray paint on t-shirts. Okay. So of his own volition, he came up with this project. When I first went into that classroom, he had no idea how to use a laser cutter, or how to do 2D design. Yeah. By the end, he had used it to come up with his own yeah. project. So even beyond silk screen, he was using spray paint had the kids outside like making the t-shirts using the laser cutter project which was pretty cool so that's one of my favorite things is like to to have a kid go from an idea mm -hmm. to the fruition of that like all of this process right and being able to have access to an idea and then produce the idea and and i think that yeah and yeah. that it's like that's incredibly powerful mm -hmm. and then also to think about what you're constrained by what materials you have what you don't have and then designing and making things in that way so exactly. that's really exciting and that these tools are accessible to teachers and students. Yeah. So there you go, a little taste of the Carnegie Science Center and its Fab Lab. Here's the thing, my takeaway that I love most about this visit, and it's that they spend more time here teaching teachers 
than teaching students. And just, if you'll allow me to editorialize for a second, I feel like if we're going to get anywhere with improving education in the United States, it has to be by allowing teachers to learn in front of their students. And that's what's being engendered here. And that's pretty cool.